this is the vlog you'll all have been waiting for. back to my channel my name is Vicky for anyone who's new and today we're gonna be making Minnie Mouse ears as you all know I'm about to head to Disney World to participate in the Disney College program and what better way to just wait it out than making crafts right so without further ado let's get into the video uh, uh, uh. Okay everyone, so let's start. Firstly, I used this uh, plastic folder here. In the original video, they did use cardboard, but since I wanted to be rainproof, I used this. Then I got this cutting thing offline. I'll just link it down below for the ear shape. Then you're gonna need a good pair of scissors and some material that you like for the, the ears. I got this one that is very shiny, which I think is going to look adorable in the sun while it shines. Then you, of course, need a headband for the ears to stick on and so you can wear on your head because they would fall off if not. Then we're going to need a glue gun, of course, and just an extra glue stick in case you run out of it. And next, of course, we're going to need a bow, because if not, it wouldn't be a Minnie Mouse headband, it would be a Mickey Mouse. So, a glittery bow. I don't really know what this is called here, but we got this, like, sort of very shiny, um, it's not even string, but to put around the ears. Just to cover up any imperfection that might happen, you'll see why. And we are good to go. We can start making these ears. Oh, and I cannot believe I forgot the fluff to make the ears to fill them out so they can be the fluffiest ears ever, right? Okay, so firstly, we're going to be cutting here the ear sewing line just so we can be using for the uh, like plastic material for the base of our ears. And here it is done. And then this ear cutting line we're going to be using for the material just to get the shape. But this third one we're not going to be using on this video. Next up we're going to take the material in a sharpie. I forgot to put this in the materials but we are going to use a sharpie to sort of put the patterns that we cut onto this material. So now we're just going to set it down here pretty neatly without this marker underneath. So we can just make the shapes on top so we are going to take our ear cutting line as i said before don't use the other one because it's going to be smaller if you use the other one so the ear cutting line is the one we're using so we're just going to place it on top of the material and we're going to take our sharpie and we're just going to draw it on top of the material just the outer line to get a cutting line right here so we do need to leave a little bit of space underneath to, and you'll see why. But before we do need four of these, so here we go. After this, we're just gonna cut them up, just like this, leaving that little space as I said before underneath it, and you'll see why later. Now we will take the plastic and the ear sewing line, and we're gonna do just exactly the same as we did with the fabric. So of course we are gonna need four of these, to be able to make the backs and the front of the ears and this is what they're gonna look like after you cut them up so here are the four of them and now we're ready to continue okay so supposedly for the first step what I'm supposed to do now is uh, to try to stick this on this <laughs> let's try so the plastic is always gonna be a tad smaller than the material so I can just glue it here so let's see so I'm gonna fold it over the plastic yeah. 
okay you're not supposed to do it too tightly just because you want to leave space for um, the foam that's gonna go inside okay let's try it. you're supposed to do it not quickly but you have to try to so that the the glue does not dry before you stick it I feel like this is gonna be a mess <laughs> okay we're doing a close-up after so don't worry if you really can't see what I am doing here do you guys see my hand shaking like oh I burnt myself <laughs> and then you end up with a disc <laughs> and now you're just supposed to stuff it okay I'm gonna try just with a smaller piece to let it dry for a bit oh my god I'm not a craft person I guess like I thought I was okay let's try this At least you can like see through this. Can you see? There. At least you can sort of see how you're stuffing it. These actually look pretty cute. We'll see, but okay. I think we can stuff them even more. Look at that. And you get the little... <laughs> so we're putting the material underneath the plastic and then we're just gluing the extra parts which I said why we're gonna need the, the material to be bigger and then we're stuffing it and sticking the end that's why you needed the flap in order for the fluff not to come out and then to be able to stick both of them together so here are the four of them and as you can see we are left with a little bit of a flap which we are going to cut but you'd rather have more of a flap than not just in case it's not enough and you can just cut the rest off after you're done and this will be your end result you have two fronts and a back and two backs So what you're supposed to do now is just glue gun them together so you have a front and a back. Okay. What was that? Okay, if this doesn't stick, I don't know what will. And then we'll go with the second one. So here we go. Oh, I don't have any more left. I hope it sticks. Okay. See, that's why you're supposed to have the second, the spare one. Where is it? Here. We're gonna put something around them so I'm not really worried about them being perfect. So, let's see. I don't know if this will look cute around it. I'm not mad about that at all. That looks really cute. Okay. Let's try this. So with the glue gun, we're just going to stick this between the gap left between the back and the front. This actually looks cute. I think this is good because it will cover up all the imperfections that I don't think this looks too well. I really burnt my finger. Ow. This hurts. Crafts hurt. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Not bad. Okay, so this is our result. 
<laughs> These don't look bad. Like, look at that glitter. <laughs> okay, so now, wait, now what you're supposed to do is to take a, like, regular pair of mini years and just, like, try to measure out where the years are supposed to, like, be, I guess. But I guess if you do it just by eye, it's fine, right? We can measure by the spikes, because this, see, this one, I'm lucky that it does have, like, little spikes on them. So I'll just try to measure out where the spikes start. And we'll see. We are fearless. We can do this. Oh. <sighs> ah! Look at that. Okay. Second year. I think the key here is to put extra. More is more, in this case, I'm guessing. <gasps> I forgot which one was the front and which one was the back. I hope that doesn't alter anything. Okay, let's go. I'm guessing they're dry. This is what they're currently looking like. Cute. This is the bow I'm gonna be using, which now that I'm thinking, it's not that cute because this is double sided and this is not. Oh well. We'll make it work. So, again, we're gonna glue gun the F out of it. this video solely because I thought it was gonna be funny and I was gonna fail I did burn my fingers so that's n never cute look at these these are actually cute okay I'm gonna try them on so I haven't tried it yet let's see this is what they look like I'm really pleased with these I hope they don't fall off because I haven't let them cool down properly because I don't, I don't like to wait. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> okay, so I fixed them. <laughs> I'm just gonna let them cool down for 15 minutes. I am so impatient. I'm just gonna, should I try them on? Will they fall apart again? I'm just afraid that it's not that I'm impatient. It's just the material I used. I'm gonna put them on off camera. Wait. And by off camera, you can still see me, so haha -ha to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're not falling. They're. <laughs> These are so cute. So. This is what they look like. These are actually pretty cute. I'm gonna go show my mom. So, I don't know if it's the material I used, why they fell apart in the first place. I don't know if it's my impatience, but these look damn good. Like, I'm really happy with them. They're really, really, really smart. They look at them. I like, I don't know if these are like the ears to rock the park. I guess I had to try them for a full day. Maybe we can do like a challenge being a full day wearing these around Argentina, which is not the most common thing in the world, I guess. But they are very cute. So anyways, everyone, look at these. I'm so happy. But thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting and <laughs> I'm so happy. 
I'll see you all next time.